In this video, I will clarify the matter of Jesus. Jesus is many things. Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Good Shepherd. He was a carpenter. Was he a shepherd? He said, I am the gate. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. The resurrection. The Messiah. The Christ. So in Jesus' own words, I was asked in a message politely whether or not Jesus is the Son of God or Jesus is based on other deities. Believe it or not, after all these videos, I still consider that a good question. Because it is very tricky and I have trouble to explain, but Jesus was a man. Yes. Jesus was a prophet and the Messiah. Yes. But he was also initiated into the schools and the temples of Egypt. So what I'm saying is that Jesus is the son and so is Heru. That Jesus is symbolized by the Son, and so is Heru. And the story of Jesus, the myth of Jesus, is based on a man, and so is Heru. That Jesus embodied the spirit of Heru. What I am saying is that Serapis is where you got the image of Jesus. The image of Jesus came from Serapis and the temple of Serapium and the Serapium. Jesus is the Son of God, yes. Jesus connected to God, yes. Jesus is a greater prophet than Muhammad. Yes. Jesus was born miraculously. Yes. But, does the story of Christianity have nothing to do with the ancient Egyptian mythology? No. Hathor was symbolized as a female goddess. It's important to note that that was the golden calf that was destroyed. It had to do with Apis and Hathor. The bull, the cow, and the calf. Jesus is the Son of God, but he is also part of the Sun Temple of Egypt. Jesus is connected to Heru. And the image of Jesus is a Greek portrayal that they got from Serapis. And there is no way around that. It is very difficult to explain how it, it is correct to say that Jesus is the Son. Now, this is a story of the Son. Yes, this is a story of the Son. Because Jesus was doing things in a manner that resembled the Son. And he got that idea from the Son Temple. So, Jesus was using the light temple to prove his point. Jesus was explaining things in the way that a Jew would. He said, I did not come to break the covenant or to contradict the covenant, but rather to fulfill the covenant. And the covenant refers 
to the history of Jews, which refers to the history of Jews being in Babylon and Egypt as well. So, while I struggle to truly put this in a way that's simple, yet truly encompasses the point that I'm trying to make, what I'm trying to say that truly explains it, Jesus is the Son of God, and he got that idea from God, and he explains it the way that the Egyptians explain it. Egyptians are the first people to truly explain God correctly. That is why God allowed many other temples to remain and their artifacts to be found so the truth would come to light. But I am also saying that many of your preachers and priests are liars. They are racist. They don't want to teach their children that the Son of God was a mixed man. They would rather teach their children that, that the Jews betrayed the Son of God and forget the fact that he was a mixed black Jew but the black guys are the criminals, and the Jews are the guys who betray God, and, and they, they just want to chop it up to that. That's not true. Jesus was the Son of God. He was the beginning and the ending. So my thoughts on deities, okay, this, the question more specifically was, was Jesus derived from deities in Egypt? Again, I'll give you, I'll, I'll end it by giving you the most simple explanation that comes to mind at this point. That Jesus was a Messiah of the Sun Temple first and foremost. That the Old Testament should have been started by the Old Old Testament, which would have started in Egypt. That he, human history does not start with the Exodus. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't go from Noah's Ark and then j quickly jump to the exodus. See what I'm saying? It doesn't jump from the ancestors of Moses and a you know Abraham and Ur and Chaldea and Babylon. It doesn't jump to that. History includes Egyptian mythology before it includes the Jews. Now, one important example I use is Jesus references the prophets that came before him. And also he said, before Abraham, I am. That also refers to before Abraham, before there was even Jews, there was prophets and religion. And God was speaking to people. So, is Jesus Serapis? The real Jesus isn't Serapis, but the devil that your church has chosen to idolize, that is Serapis. Thank you.